Hey guys, welcome back to Subnautica. I'm currently out uh, looking for some more fragments to work and uh, got a little list to build things up for our base. If you don't believe me, yeah, handwritten. Uh, and there we go. So we're going to try to get our nuke reactor up and going, our moon pool, and a vehicle modification station. Now, I asked the uh, you guys, if you guys got an idea for some color schemes to work with the, the Cyclops, because it's getting hard to see the dark and the, and the deep, deep underwater. So. Right now, I'm thinking of changing it to the bright red and doing it that way. Right now, the one solar panel I have on our base is not working enough. We're going to have to upgrade that power supply. So right now, I need to see about getting more uh, lubricant and more uh, lead farmed up. So with that being said, right now we Yes, we needed that. We need silver orb like it's going out of style, because we need to make a lot of uh We need advanced wiring kits, computer chips, so just from that alone, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, well, Moonpool's built. Why it's not connecting up, I'm not 100% sure. There we go. I might be able to work with this. Actually, I can work with this. Alright guys, I know you can hear me now. I kind of had a derp moment from the course of uh, ending where I left off with the recordings yesterday. Uh, apparently my microphone was on mute for a little bit. But anyway, I thought I'd give you the heads up. But that's my current base. It is currently fully nuclear powered, up and running. As you saw, I have a modification station. I have a Seamoth. And, and... We have something for people that drop down comments. I am going to straight up admit, I'm going to do the Markiplier Schlick 
and our reinforced uh, hole, by the way, is closer to 90. I don't think it's going to be breaking down that easy. We have so not only do we have a modification station, we have a vehicle modification station. We have ooh, piece of candy. Battery chargers up and running. Fabricator on the wall. So ahead of the game, it's not even funny at this point. Because we have full recharging. Fully accessible. I kept all the original batteries. I didn't get rid of them. I kept all my power cells. I never got rid of them. We've upgraded our air 2 tank. So now we, as you see, 135 per air unit. If I really, really wanted to, I could get it up to 195. In the meantime, I do have three shoutouts to give out for people that has commented on my uh, content so far with this. Ranimos, one of my best, my buddies. Another one would be my my Kosef, in this case, throwing out some support. Mindwack Productions, giving out a good shout out right there. General fun guys, and I actually enjoy their series, and they've been throwing some comments my way as well. Lockers that could use some names. So, in the meantime, I am going to take a peek over here. We do have a few wreck. I have heard of a few base abandoned bases down below, and we happen to be close to the area, or fairly close. And it may come to the point where, like what I'm doing now, is just. Eating just to refill my water because I get some bonus. Blood loss and I have plenty of lantern fruit to work with. So with that in mind, we're going to go up to the ladder. Turn around and... For the most part, I do have to see about... Since we have such a strong hole, I can actually upgrade it and put it in a lot of glass so I can see what's going on around me. An entire empty room that could be used for storage if I wanted to. Or make it to a personal bedroom. I don't care. Same thing again here. Storage or personal bedroom. I don't care. But in the meantime. The USS Animal has a current new paint job. In this case it's more like a uh, bright yellow and or golden. I'm not 100% sure. And it's with black stripes at the moment. I got the Seamoth in the same pattern, which has been renamed it to uh, Yellow Jacket in the meantime. We have two observation uh, things up and going right now. I'm just going to make this into the observation deck and calling it that. But for safety precautions, I did install, a, or in this case, a uh, door. When I get a chance, I'm going to probably do the same over here. I got, again... I wanted to see where I was going. Yellow jacket is docked, fully charged. We have a, f we have full access to making our modules. So right now, this is the yellow jacket, aka our C moth. We're gonna access our upgrades. We're gonna see we got the, our pressure compactor, compensator. Yeah, I can speak. Our pressure compensator mark two up there so we could go down to 500 feet no problem now we got a storage module and if we happen to be nearby we get solar power so it recharges with these now we're going to drop down and the only spot i didn't show you was this little room back here that is beyond beyond reinforced because wherever there isn't a reinforcement is literally where we walk in and the roof that's it and I'm not looking to add stuff to the roof if I do it's probably gonna be solar panels and it's gonna be barricaded off but let's show you where it goes real quick BAM welcome to the power room and we are not running out of power anytime soon that's right, we got four rods going. As I said, fully reinforced. So, gonna see about getting a couple other things that feels up and going. Gonna close this door because we're not really gonna be going that way anyway. These doors I don't mind on for 
ever. Now, to my understanding, and we're actually going to take the Seamoth here. Because I feel like having mobility while we deal with all this lag. So we're going to get into our Seamoth now. And to my understanding, near the corner of the Aurora and the engines is something I missed. Something we need. And I do... I am fully aware it is night out, and yeah. Oh yeah, meet our neighbors, the Reefbacks. Let's catch some air, shall we? Nice, now some hang time. Now, for performance issues, I have applied a couple, the fix a couple of times. Finally, after long searching, I found some spore sacks. I wonder it took longer than expected. Okay. So with that in mind, we're going to head back to the base. And I'll see you back there in a moment. Climbing aboard. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So first things first, let's check out what is our current depth on this thing. Oh, sweet. Welcome aboard, Captain. 900 meters. Nice. I wonder if I can build the second moon pool. Yeah. Bit excessive, I agree. <laughs> Fully charged. Oh my god, I can. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems 
Oh my god. Oh my god. That is flipping awesome. Welcome aboard, Captain. 